Hi folks, Bob Dale for Southern Ring Marketing in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell trucks and sell lots of them, folks. If they make a diesel truck, we've sold it. One of the hardest trucks to find in the country. I mean, you can take a GPS nerd, hard to find one is an 06 or an 07 Chevrolet Duramax. That's the one everyone wants. They want that engine. I mean, they just want an 06 or an 07 Duramax. We're going to list one today that's a really nice truck, folks. A 2006 Chevrolet Duramax. LT got every option, got leather, uh, got heated seats, a rear entertainment center, the leather's perfect, uh, just just a super nice truck. Spray in bed liner, got the original Rhino bed liner, perfect, setting on a good set of tires, the spares underneath it. Just a great Duramax truck. Got 240 something thousand miles on it, but we put the serial number in the sale, we have car faxed it, and it has a Carfax service all down the line. This truck is pretty nice and it's ready to go. It's got, it's not a concourse truck. We'll show you a little ding here and a whatever there, but it's just a great truck. Come on, we'll show it to you. Look at the front here. Headlights, chrome, everything about it. It's the way it ought to be. It's a local Southern truck, traded in here. No rust issues of any kind. Good set of tires, the glass is perfect. Uh, I don't see anything here, son. The leather, look at this leather. Power, uh, look at the carpets. Headliner is just the way it ought to be. Rear entertainment. Uh, got Automatic everything. climate, got uh, fog lights, electric shift, four wheel drive. The reason everyone wants these 06 and 07 trucks, folks, is <coughs> they're the ones who had the six speed transmission and none of that other garbage. No the emissions. Engine and they just run so good. This thing runs, you can't hear it run. I mean, it sounds like a, it sounds like a late model gas burner when you crank it up. Matter of fact, let me do that. What Dan's already given you, uh, it's gonna give you a test drive, but listen to this. Well, I can't get the key, I can't turn on the key. All right, listen to this. You can't hear it run. I mean, it's quiet as a, 2017 gas burner. Look in here. Nobody's ever it's four wheel drive. Not no rusted. kids. No kids ever tried to tear it up in the mud. None of that. It's an LT. Uh, they didn't have LTZs back then, but if it had been, they had if it had been an LTZ. Look at this back. How neat it is. Seats are nice. Got the flip down armrest. Got the uh, rear climate vents. It's headphone jacks. You can control the stereo from back here. It's also got a Panasonic DVD player and all that. Look at here. Paint's just perfect. Mr. Chevrolet painted that. You can see under here, no rust, no corrosion. The spares underneath it, just like it ought to be. It's oh, got uh, LED, LED tail lights put in it. That's the original chrome bed liner. That, I mean, uh, Rhino liner. Bed liner is put in it. It's a Rhino liner. You can see it up there. Never been cut for a hitch or. Well, and it's never been, had stuff hauled in it. To me, it's not beat up or picked up. You know, here's a little uh, little ding there. You can't see it in the parent. Here's a little bit of ding here. Uh, just perfect under there. Once again, we'll show you on this side. It's just as brand new. Look at these jams, son. Cab corners are all good. And it is a Duramax. The, uh, I'm not going to paraphrase it because we sell some of everything, but there was an old Southern marching song in the Great War. It said, you talk about your Beauregards, you sing of General Lee, but the gallant hood of Texas played hell in Tennessee. Well, I would mention some other truck names, but Dan sells them. When you want a great truck, folks, a Chevrolet. Look at this, power on both sides. Once again, the carpet's here. Uh, no dust, no mud, never been out, never been in the woods, never been on a work site. Bose sound system. The dash is perfect. The glass is just the way it ought to be. Yes, sir? I'm gonna do a video. Chevrolet trucks, folks. Hey, mine, I bought a 98 
gas burning Z71, little 98 short wheelbase, brand new at 98. Still driving it, still hunting it. It's had a rough life, folks, but it's got 476,000 miles. You know why? Because I take care of it. I just change the oil, that's all I do. You get a car, a truck like this, a, a Duramax, man, you'll never wear it out. It would, it, it's just there. It's a, I mean, nobody makes a truck like that. It's beautiful, it's dependable. Everybody wants a Duramax. Now, I know they're god awful expensive when you go to buy new ones, and that's how these other people sell those, but by George, they're pretty. If you've want, been wanting a Duramax and a, and a good one, and one that you can depend on and everything works and you can take it and go. Look at this truck, folks. You're going to sell it with a low reserve sign? It, no reserve. No reserve this truck? Yeah. Okay, we'll sell it no reserve. But I yeah. do have a price in mind. If you have a question about this truck, give Dan a call, 601-720-2857. If you want to know what it takes to buy it, Give them a call. Someone's going to buy this Duramax for the sales over uh, 2006. I mean, 601-720-2857. Give them a call. But it's a 2006 Duramax. No more desirable truck out there on the on the secondary market. It's an LT with every option. Every option. An LT. The leather is beautiful. Got it all. Sitting on a good set of tires. Runs and drives the very best four-wheel drive. The bed's perfect. This is just a jam-up good truck, folks. And if you buy it, you'll be glad you did. And if you ship it when it gets there, you'll be real tickled to have it. Thanks for watching our video, folks. Look forward to visiting with you about this 06 Duramax. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Hi, folks. Dan Bell here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a test drive. But before I do, just wanted to show you under the hood you can see how clean it is. Well, we don't clean under hoods. This is just how this truck came into us. Uh, so you can tell it obviously hadn't been spending a bunch of time off in mud holes and trying to get stuck and all that crap that uh, kids like to do. But anyway, you can see, got a uh, fresh pair of AC Delco batteries. But the main thing I want to show you is you can see right here, absolutely no blow by uh, now there's no smoke either but smoke is not blow by blow by you set this oil fill cap down and it blows off that's blow by and blow by is just engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase doesn't necessarily mean you got a bad engine but it's a sign of wear and this truck doesn't have any of that so um, now we're going to hop in take you on a test drive Okay, now we're in the truck. Just want to show you a few things. See, it's got automatic climate control. It's got a, let me turn it on first. It's got steering wheel radio controls. You can turn the stereo up and down. It's got all the uh, other controls here for your, um, um, different things like you see it keeps up with your oil filter life, your distance to empty, your mileage. You see, hit the button, goes in four-wheel drive, we'll put it back. All that stuff works. Heated seats, memory seats, that's an exit button. Um, windshield has no cracks in it. You can see compass and thermometer, 94 degrees. It's got OnStar. It's got the uh, map lights. It's got the extended deal um, only thing I can nitpick you see this mirror glass is busted it works but it's busted um, it's cheaper for us I've got a whole new mirror order believe it or not it's cheaper to put a mirror uh, replace the whole assembly than just the glass which is kind of strange but it's true so now we'll hop in, we'll take it down the road. Now you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson. But one thing you can take away from all these potholes I'm hitting is that this truck is tight. There's not a lot of, uh, there's no clunks, no bangs. There's not a lot of slack in the steering wheel. 
Um, you know, when you're driving the truck, it rides perfect. There's no, there's no issues with that. It doesn't bounce you around. It's not harsh. It, it rides like it should. Um, got a oil change good till 251, so it's pretty recent oil change as far as mileage is concerned. We've had this truck a while. I was kind of debating keeping it, but I found a uh, platinum. I think I'm gonna hang on to, but. Um, you can see the dash is not peeling or anything. A lot of trucks this model year, the dash goes to peeling. Um, got one little kind of wear spot there, but nothing, nothing serious. And I'm just really, I'm just nitpicking. And that's, I try and nitpick, and I may, even at the risk of making the truck sound worse than it is, just so I don't want to risk bad feedback over something silly like, you know, a rock peck or a ding or something like that. So, you know, if, if I know of something wrong, I try and point it out. Like I said, we're putting a new mirror on over there. Now that passenger mirror doesn't seem to want to move, but I haven't had a chance to look at it. I just noticed it, but I want you to be it assuming it doesn't work. And that way, uh, if I get it going, that'll, that'll be a good bonus. I think I know what the problem is though. Um, but you know, if that's an issue, call me. That's the only thing I know of on this truck that doesn't work. I mean, there's no lights lit on the dash. Um, the good thing about this truck, and it's why these 06s and the 07 classic models are worth so much money, is it has the six-speed Allison transmission. It's got the manual shift mode, got tow haul and all that. It's the six-speed Allison, but the Duramax, the engine in it, does not have uh all that emissions crap that the new ones have so you get the best of everything you get the six speed allison and you get the uh what am i trying to say no emissions so these 06s and 7s are the most sought after and um in fact they're they're really they're worth more than uh a lot of 08s and 9s you can buy for less money just because people want these and they hold their value so well again you can feel all these bumps I'm hitting and no thunks or bangs I can let go of the wheel it doesn't pull to the left or right it doesn't pull or vibrate when I hit the brakes this engine is super quiet I mean you can barely hear it running it's so quiet and that's just a feature of the Duramax diesel they're quiet and uh, this one's just like all of those in, in that respect goes down the road just like it should I mean I'm doing 65 and it's riding and driving just perfect oh the only other thing I'll nitpick you can see it's got a CD stuck in it and uh, you know most people nowadays you're gonna put you a little touchscreen navigation or something in it because they're so cheap I mean, you can buy one on Amazon for a couple hundred bucks and they'll work with the steering wheel controls and everything so I'm not gonna worry about it because I mean who listens to CDs but uh, and once again, I'm trying to just nitpick every last thing I can think of because I don't I don't want to risk bad feedback over something silly. So anyway, if you want to fly in, drive this truck home, you can. I wouldn't hesitate to hop in it and go wherever. I mean, it's, it's a good truck. We'll pick you up at the airport, no extra charge. We'll bring you back to our place here in Jackson and do all the paperwork and feedback stuff and, and let you get on the road. You can see 65 miles an hour shifts out just like it should. All the gauges are reading where they should be. But we know, on the other hand, most of our customers we sell to wind up being from up north and from the Midwest. And, you know, not everybody has time to fly in and or drive in and spend a few days doing that and turn around driving home. So, if you think you might have to ship it, don't let the idea of that scare you off from the truck because um, if you look around and get in the, on these online shipping quote pages, don't let the prices scare you because depending on how much of a hurry you're in, we can save you as much as half off. And the reason for that is most of these guys you find online, they're not really shippers. They don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road all they are are brokers and they'll charge you hundreds of dollars and call it a deposit but all it really is 
is their broker's fee and they all get on this one website called Central Dispatch that's not open to the public and they post your vehicle on there and find somebody to haul it and then you pay the driver when he drops it off and that hundreds of dollars they call the deposit it's really just their broker fee well we spent the money we jumped through the hoops we paid all the fees and it's a monthly fee with them to be on that website so we can offer our customers basically wholesale shipping on trucks we we we're not the shippers but we'll arrange the shipping we'll find somebody to ship it for you and all you do is pay the shipper when he drops it off you don't pay us we don't make anything on it you just pay the shipper so it's a real easy simple deal if you want a quote just shoot me a text or an email with your zip code and I'll get you a good ballpark figure on shipping or if you're anywhere near Houston or Dallas or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida and then I can get you a real good deal on shipping and even if you don't buy from us for a, a 50 bucks we'll arrange shipping for whatever you did buy although we'd rather you buy from us and we'll just do it for free but uh, either way we'll help you arrange shipping so just something to keep in mind because basically I mean it's it's going to be way cheaper than pretty much anywhere else if you uh, let us arrange it although if you rather do the uh, arrange the shipping that's okay with us too you're welcome to arrange your own shipping it is, it's not going to hurt my feelings or uh, insult me or anything if you want to so that all being said this is just a, a really nice truck goes down the road just like it should it's quiet it's not rattling it's not squeaking and squawking beating and banging I've been driving nearly 10 minutes and you may not can tell um, but there's just no there's no squeaks there's no noises uh, it looks like we got a I'm not sure what's going on coming the other way but you can see we've been driving and there's no warning lights lit there's no service lights there's no um, brake lights airbag lights any of that and we like to show the dash after we've been driving a while because you know, it's easy we could just get on if there was a light just kill the light and say oh well um, there's no lights lit but if there's a problem with the truck and it's not resolved then after you start driving a while that light's going to come right back on so that's why i like to show the dash after we've been driving a while so you can see for yourself there's no warning lights there's no service lights any of that um, this air i know you can't tell in the video but this air is ice cold and that's one of the first things we check on here in mississippi is some ice cold air conditioning windshield is not pecked up not cracked got the auto dimming rear view mirror it's got i mean just about everything you can put on one rear defrost it's got 373 limited slip differentials it's got skid plates it's got the 3 lt package which is the loaded up lt you know it used to be chevrolet had three trucks the base truck the ls had cloth the lt had leather well now you can get an lt with cloth which defies all logic they have a one lt which is the base LT, a 2LT, and a 3LT. Well, this is a 3LT. It's got the Z82 and Z85 packages. That's the heavy-duty suspension and the towing packages. And it's got limited slip differentials, which if, if you buy a truck without limited slip differentials, you're not buying a four-wheel drive. You're buying, because all that's going to happen is one wheel in the front will turn and one in the back. You basically still got two-wheel drive. So you always want to buy a truck with limited slip differentials I mean that's just a, a must-have and so just uh, throwing that out there you can see got the remote uh, goes to the rear entertainment don't have any DVDs to check it haven't checked it. Um, it it probably works but I'm not making any guarantees so you know worst case if it don't they're like a hundred bucks on Amazon but I don't have any DVDs to check it all my movies are downloaded so anyway like I was saying just a super clean 
super nice truck not a perfect truck but you know if we told you it had half the miles that is showing you believe us i mean it's that nice it's that clean it's got a clean carfax there's been service history right down the line on the carfax so you know it's been well maintained just a, a nice truck so if you have any questions about it call me want to make an offer call me um, want to know anything about it just give me a call 601-720-2857 appreciate you watching the video hearing everything I have to say and look forward to seeing you here in Jackson Mississippi thank you just as a little addendum folks I got to thinking about it after I did the video earlier and it was bugging me so I finally dug up the DVD and you can see the DVD player works Alvin and the chipmunks um, oh and I am we did get the other power mirror fix so both power mirrors work the um, DVD player works all that's good so anyway thanks for watching hope to see you soon